This is the law of money with me, Vivek Law. Joining me today is Yashish Dhaya, founder of PolicyBazaar.com, who revolutionized the way we buy insurance in this country. Yashish, in uh, one of our earlier episodes, you talked about uh, a family floater. And yes. That, you know, you can take a plan for even your children and your full family. Yes. Uh, that that that's a relatively more recent phenomena or a product, right? Because yeah. earlier it was always that it's me as an individual yeah. who has to take the cover. Yeah. Which works better? So it totally depends. For most, the rule of thumb here is, for most young families, mm. family floater for the young family works better. Mm. When you say as young family, young family age-wise? Yeah, or? so young family age-wise in the sense, school-going kids, okay. right? Or, or preschool kids. So from birth till when the children are about 15, maybe 18, uh, the family floater works well. Now see, that's about the age when most parents start to turn 50. Mm. When children get to 18, the parents are about 50. They could be, you know, I'm not kind of making a statement, sure, but, but it's broadly there. It's the ballpark, yeah. It's the ballpark. Mm. At that point, it starts to make sense to have individual uh, mm. health covers. It starts to make sense to have, to not make one person's premium go up mm. because the other person's fallen sick, right? Uh, so just, just keep the policies different, separate, mm. makes sense. Even for families, it does not make sense for a young family to include their grandparents into it. It's just going to make things expensive because these policies are designed to cover by the age of the oldest person. So if the grandparent is 80 years old, the entire policy's premium will go up dramatically because of them. So, so individual policies make sense unless you are a very small family. The way a family floater works is that the entire family has got a certain amount of money which can be used. So if it's a 10 lakh rupee floater, then anybody in that family can use up the entire 10 lakh rupees. Mm. Or one can use 2 lakhs, one can use 8 lakhs. Mm. That's, that's how it works. Mm. But if you all had individual 10 lakh rupee policies, then each one of you can use the entire 10 lakhs. Mm. However, chances of that happening, that you know, and, uh, everybody in the family, family falling sick at the same time mm. are, are rare. Uh, to that extent, this, uh, to that extent. cover parents or... Uh... It can, family floaters can cover parents. There are products which cover up to 13 individuals in a family. They don't make as much sense if you start covering much older parents. Because at some point, the, the policy is going to become irrelevant. Grandparents are 80, parents are 50, children are 20. You try to get everybody in the same cover. It's Your inefficient. It's work. inefficient. See, if, if the 80-year-old parent can be covered, he will be covered. If they can't be covered, they won't be covered. There's a chance that the whole family may not get the policy because uh, they can't be covered. Chance that the price will go up because of the senior most person. So we have this belief that, you know, we will help the older person get the policy if we are together. Mm. It doesn't work. Mm. It actually works the, you know, the other way. It makes it very expensive for everyone. It's been a pleasure talking to you, Yashish. Thank you Thank very you. much for coming on The Law of Money to demystify insurance. Thank you very people. much. We'll keep this conversation going. Thanks.